You've got questions. Well, we've got answers and we have the man to answer them. Jeffrey Lemine from Buckingham. Jeffrey, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer. Hey, Bob. Good to be with you. Good to be with you. I understand that your inbox has some questions in it right now. Yeah, this week we got an interesting question, especially for this time of year. It says, hey, I'm into sports betting, but I haven't done so well. If I haven't made any money, is there anything to report to the IRS? And, uh, you know, first off, I guess I'm sorry. <laughs> but chances are, if you bet enough, you're not going to come out a, a winner. That's uh, the house usually wins. And when we're looking at sports betting, you have income to declare to the extent that you have winnings, right? You can declare gambling losses only to the extent that you have gambling winnings uh, for most people, right? Unless that is you are a professional gambler. Now, just because you don't have any other job and you gamble, that does not make you a professional gambler. And I think that's something we have to get out of the, the way right away. I've spoken to some retirees over the years like, well, I don't do anything else. I guess I'm a professional gambler now. No, unless that's your regular job and you are truly engaged in it to make a profit, uh, that is, you know, that's a, that's a tough bar to clear. So for most people, if you haven't won anything uh, and you just have lost everything, then, you know, no, there's nothing to report. You're you're in the clear. I guess that's one good part about never winning. <laughs> no one will know that you lost so much money. Um, <laughs> a, a question, right? So many states are allowing uh, online betting now. I take it that the states will at least be able to track how much you've lost and how much you've uh, won. And at least maybe that will make it um, easier to report. Should you have any winnings? Yeah. And if you win enough, you will get, uh, you will be issued a 1099, whether that's from a, a online or from a casino, when you win a significant amount of money, you are issued a 1099. But again, there is the ability to write off gambling winnings against those gambling law, or rather to write off gambling losses against those gambling winnings. So just because you have a 1099 doesn't mean you have net positive income. I mean, a great example of this would be a business owner, right? A business owner, if they receive 1099s from the, uh, you know, from those who have paid them throughout the year, well, just because you received money doesn't mean you made a profit, right? You claim your expenses against it. And it's very similar with gambling, except with gambling, you can't really run a loss, right? If you lose more than you win, generally you just lose. Uh, but if you win more than you lose, you have to report that, right? But you don't get a tax benefit when you lose more than you win, unless, again, you're a professional gambler, which is a very high bar to try and, and, and beat. Yeah. Well, my guess is it's not a gamble. Should people write to us with their questions? That's right. Don't gamble with your future. Ask us the question first and we'll give you the answer. Uh, so if you have a question, email Bob and I, give us a shout. You can reach us at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. That's askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. And Bob and I look forward to answering your questions real soon. Mm -hmm.